<laughs> What's up, future respiratory therapists? Hey, I'm back. I know it's the same night. It's a Saturday night, and actually, it's Friday night. It's not even Saturday night. It's Friday night, and most of you are probably out having a good time, and you should be. Okay, so I don't know when you'll see this, but I'm at home. I got a baby in bed, and so I'm at home here taking care of my baby, and I'm on a roll. Uh, let me just put it like that. Just like I'm just I'm just on a roll right now, and I don't know what it is. I think it's because I got like, you know, I just answered a video question to an RN, Bailey Coggins. She asked me a question. I responded, and I just had some responses coming in from that video, and they just speak to my soul. And so, um, Inamu26, I, I don't know if I said that right, I don't even, I you know, these handles, you don't even know what the names are, you, you just go with it, right? So, Inamu26 put a comment up on the video literally, I don't know, two or three minutes after it was posted, and there's a part of the video... I'm going to put the video link up here so you can go back and look at it if you want to. Because if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it, okay? I don't. I never know if the video suggestions come up on this side of the screen or this side of the screen. But just know that one of the sides of the screens is going to be a video suggestion come up. And it's going to be that video response to the nurse's question about setting our peak pressure alarm and why we don't set a plateau pressure alarm. You need to check that video out if you haven't. But in that video, I talk about having your numbers up on your ventilator screen instead of your graphics. So 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 especially if you work with the Avia, you can choose monitors instead of airway graphics and you get a bunch of numbers. You can probably do that with just about every ventilator. And it's so whack to have these numbers up, okay? And the response I got from Inamu26 was that she did her clinicals at this site and she asked them about the numbers instead of the graphics. And what they said was, was, well, here at this facility, what we do is just do the numbers. And she said, I don't know if that's just because they just document the numbers there or if that's because most of them are CRTs. Here's, <laughs> here's what I want to say, Anamu. And not just to you, but to every freaking person answering this question. And you know what I just had to do? I just had to go into my YouTube settings because YouTube sent a message out. I said, hey, you have a channel and you need to say if this channel is appropriate for kids or not. And if it's appropriate for kids, you know, ain't no kids watching this channel. Nobody, no, no, no 10, 11, 12 year old is watching a channel about respiratory therapy. They're just not. So I said, no, it's not appropriate for kids, which is good because it allows me to say exactly what I want to say and exactly the way I want to say it. Here's what I want to say. It has nothing to do with them being CRTs. It has everything to do with them being fucking average. Period. You, as a respiratory therapist, have one decision to make. Are you going to take care of your patient needs... Or are you going to be task-oriented and get your treatments done and check your ventilators and get all your numbers in the right boxes and then go sit down and watch YouTube channels? Basically, that's what it comes down to. That's the difference. It has nothing to do with CRT. Let me tell you something. Some of the best respiratory therapists that I've ever, 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 ever known have been just... CRTs. That is not the difference maker in a person who knows how to take care of a person's, a sick person's cardiopulmonary problems. You either take pride in what you do as a respiratory therapist or you don't and you're just collecting a paycheck. And the second pisses me off. It just frustrates the shit out of me because we have so much to bring to the healthcare community. We have so much critical thinking ability that we can bring that we typically do not. And I'm not talking about everybody, okay? Believe me, I know there's a, there's a shit ton of respiratory therapists out there 
that are addressing your patient's needs and 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 dealing with those needs. But there's also another proportion of respiratory therapists that are just checking boxes, performing tasks, and just doing what you have to do so you can get paid next Friday. And to that proportion of people, which you are probably not subscribed to this channel because you're not trying to learn outside of what you know and what you just, you passed your RT exam, so you're good. You're like, okay, I'm good now. You're not seeking out knowledge beyond anything else. Get the, get out. Like, will you make room for the respiratory therapists that are here to create change and promote the profession and move into the critical thinking world of our future because that is where we exist on a move 26 has nothing to do with them being crts has everything to do with those people accepting average it's so easy to be average in the world of respiratory therapy do your treatments document your numbers on your vent checks and go home when your shift is over or have a little bit of pride a little bit of of patient dedication and a little bit of desire to help the profession move forward in critically thinking about what you're doing assessing airway graphics assessing abgs assessing pf ratio assessing everything there is to assess in this fantastic world of respiratory therapy that can can move us beyond where we are now it comes down to that there's so many things ultrasound at the bedside uh, patient mobility uh, freaking trait teams with with working with speech pathologists working with Radiology technicians to get better x-rays. There's so many ways we can be so much better than what we're doing right now instead of being task-oriented. That's all I want to say. I'm just on a roll. I'm just filling the messages that are coming into me, and I just want to put them out there, guys. Like it. Don't like it. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. If I'm sending a message that you don't agree with, then don't subscribe. I'm here for the people who get the message that I'm sending, which is go be the very, 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 very best respiratory therapist that you can be. Be an asset to your nurse, be an asset to your physician, be an asset to the entire healthcare team, and most importantly, be an asset and an advocate for your patients. Don't be average. It's super easy to be it. So don't. That's what I got to say. Good night, guys.